The Blue Water River Walk got its name from how clear the St. Clair River is. The lake sturgeon are really drawn to the habitat that the St. Clair River provides, and it's these clear, bright blue turquoise waters that our area is known for. And this is a very historical location we're standing at right now at the Maritime Center. And Native Americans uh, used to use this spot extensively for fishing. And this is still a world-class fishery and it's still uh, used for, for swimming, for fishing, for paddling. Restoration work doesn't happen in a vacuum. We can't separate the impact from human activity on the environment, from the impact it has on families and our communities. And we think back 40 years ago, the St. Clair River looked much different than it does today for fishing and swimming and boating. And just as it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a community, and in our case, it takes an international community. The Blue Water River Walk was finished in 2014, and we often get asked, is the St. Clair River safe for fishing? Is it safe for swimming? Is it safe for drinking? And one way that we can provide an answer to those questions is to assess the health of the environment by collecting data on the environment. And we use volunteers as citizen science to help us assess the health of the environment. And we do that here on the Blue Water Riverwalk every week. And we know from years worth of data collection from our volunteers that the health of the environment is improving. We are seeing diverse species of fish and plants and wildlife. And those are bioindicators that help us answer the question, do I live in a healthy watershed? And we can say that yes, uh, the Blue Water Riverwalk is contributing to that. So just as you have a street address, we teach people that they have a watershed address. And this helps them connect their land or their property or where they live or work to the body of water that they're impacting, either in a positive way or a negative way. Everybody lives in a watershed. It just depends on where you're at as to which watershed you're in. Whether we think about it or not, we are impacting the health of our rivers every day. We cannot make water, so the water that is in the St. Clair River that we use for drinking every day is recycled from the water that we've already used and we help people understand the connection. We take from the river, we use it, we drink it, we have to clean it and we put it back in the river. So it's like a little mini water cycle. When people ask how they can help or how they can get involved to help their local watershed, um, whether that be to um, come out to one of our eco stewardship events or help in our environmental monitoring events, these activities go on um, every day, every week, and year round. Also, just bring as many people as you can to enjoy our resource because the more people that love and use the water, they will become lifetime stewards of the water. Conservation starts with a caring, committed community.